All right, welcome back. Today we're going to be tying a glass bead steelhead fly. Earlier today I filtered a question on how to properly tie glass beads on a hook so that they're all secure and in line. Look uh, something that a steelhead would like to eat. I've actually tied these back uh, oh a while back. Used them. Never had them on video, never never uh, filmed myself fishing uh, steelhead until just recently. But, we're going to tie it up here. Hopefully I can help somebody out with it. Because it's really easy to do once you uh, figure out the right sequence. So what I'm going to do is start with some thread. Just pick any thread you want because you're going to really cover it up. Hey, I'd actually tie this a lot with pink or something that matches the bead that you're going to use. What I have here is just basically a brown 100 denier thread. Go ahead, start it on. Cut away your tag end. Now you're going to use, grab a little bit of my monofilament. What I have here is just some old line from the basement that I used at some point here. What do I have? It's a four pound test. So it, uh, nothing special. It's a good way to use up the old stuff that you have in the basement that you may have spooled up your one of your rods up. And now you have just a little bit extra and didn't know what to do with it. Take that uh, line, just lay it right on top of your your uh, hook there, right next to it. Good, wrap it in a couple times. Take it right up to the eye of the hook. Right up to it. Pull it back over. And that way you're really going to secure this line onto the hook here. Take away the little tag end. Trim it away. Actually, you can leave it on too. I don't know what I was thinking. You can actually leave it on because you're going to wrap it right down over top of the shank of the hook here. That's just an extra process that I just did that I didn't need, really didn't need to do. Alright, take your uh, thread, wrap in that monofilament, bring the mono back just a little bit there. Now you're going to thread on six millimeter glass beads you get at any craft shop. Good way to do that that I found a pair of needle loose pliers. Just grasp it, fish it through the hole. That's one. Two, now the third one is red. These are real cheap. Buy them at any craft store. And another gold one. So I have uh, gold, gold, red gold or you can put it any way you want. I actually just like to mix it up a little bit, get some color in there, a little different color for the fish. Bring your thread all the way up. Take your mono, tie it in, a couple wraps. Just like that. Take your mono and give it a good old yank. Take it, bring it back behind the fly, and go ahead and wrap in up and over in between 
wrap in that mono. Now I'll do this a couple of times here. In between, in between, all the way back around. Don't cut your thread on the point of your hook. All the way back around. One last time. Cut away. Scissors here. Cut away your uh, mono. Flip. Fly over. Grab your Sally Hansons. Just a little coat on the thread. It'll seep into your uh, thread on top. Give it a second. Flip it back over. And go ahead and wrap one time in between there. Take some of your uh, ice tub, and uh, I got gold here. Take any color you want. If you want to make it something the fish is going to look and say, hey, look at that, that's some sucker spawns. So, go ahead and spin it on your uh, thread there. A little dubbing uh, loop or noodle. Right into the between the uh, beads. Put some more on there. Like I said, I did this uh, oh, a while back. I never filmed it. Just me filming these is actually a good way for me to remember how I did them, too. I actually had a look at it because I tied a bunch up at one time. <clears throat> you kind of forget how you did them if you don't do a whole bunch and do it all the time. But I had to uh, tie it on there a little bit. Get your uh, what face tool. Cut it away. A little Sally Hansons. Just a little dab this time. Don't need to get too crazy. On your side. Alright, now this is the steelhead version. Nice and secure on there. These beads aren't going to move around on you. And it's on a 10, size 10, saber. It's a scud hook or what do they call that, shrimp. Caddis pupa. There you go. Nice and easy, quick to tie. You can tie a bunch of these up in one sitting. And they fish very well. Fish love them. You can actually go farther down if you want. You can actually fit, what, another bead on there? But this is, I'd normally just put four and trying to mix up the color a little bit. Sucker Spawn is gold, bright gold, just like this. You can find that at any uh, any craft store. Hobby Lobby, I'm sure, carries them. If you don't know, Hobby Lobby, if you sign up online, always has a 40% coupon that they'll send you. And uh, just uh, open up their app. Click on it, and you get 40% off of one item while you're in the store. I don't promote Hobby Lobby at all. I don't, uh, no connection to them, but, you know, we're always trying to get something a little cheaper, aren't we? All right. Stay safe out there. Hope uh, this works for you. Hope you like it. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple more videos out. I'll do uh, a trout version of this fly, and I'm going to do a single egg version of the bigger bead that I really like that's worked well. Alright, have a good day. Stay safe out there. Give me a click on the old subscribe button, on the like button, if you think it's useful to you. And I'll see you next time. And look forward to those uh, other videos I'm going to do real quick here. Alright, thanks. Have a good day.